Hello, Danny from Confident English. With the new Confident English, one of the challenges that other teacher Masato has set me is doing a regular vlog. I'm uh, not a big one for appearing on camera and doing things. Uh, not, not a lack of confidence more a lack of whoever wants to hear what I'm about but I've been really enjoying her new series she's been doing Miss Weekly over on Masato Watanabe's channel and I'll link below so I thought yeah let's try it let's do what it is and um, you know I should give you a start off with a quick introduction about myself which is similar to the ones you'll find on the other uh, learning to English videos where I talk about a self-introduction. So the big five sentence self-introduction. So my name is Daniel Usher. Please call me Danny. I'm from Melbourne in Australia. I'm an English teacher for Confident English. I mean, I love running. Outside of I love teaching English to students, I also love running and a lot of other things, but we'll keep it as simple. I love running, uh, love movies, love music, lots of things. And yeah, finally, I'm, I'm really excited to try this vlog. It's, you know, it's a new thing for me. It's great. So I decided, well, do my world, show you my world in English, obviously. I thought, well, let's come to my favorite place in Melbourne, one of my, really my front garden, as I call it. So I'm here at Flagstaff Gardens. And this is in the uh, center of Melbourne, just on the edge of the uh, CBD, technically in West Melbourne. Um, and let me grab the camera and uh, do a, a circular, so you get a bit of an idea of where we are, or what it is. Hope you enjoy that quick view. I, I probably should do a walking tour from Berry Hill to the Victoria Separation Monument, to the Queen Vic Market, to the Flagstaff Station, to a lot of places but you know this is just a public park that my apartment is one of the streets over there let's say I'd have to measure it but we're in 50 meters so I can come here anytime and enjoy myself which is one of the best things about Melbourne we have so many open parks and gardens that you can enjoy um, it's it's Dan without a watch time but it's about 5 p.m. on a Monday afternoon and you know, you've got a combination of uh, workers going to and from, but people enjoying their afternoon. It's quite a, it's been quite a hot day. It's still high 30s here, maybe mid 30s, sorry. Um, it was high 30s, gone to mid 30s. Um, but yeah, this, this park's actually very significant. Um, I don't know if you want a history tour. <laughs> the big thing is I should, uh, if you come out here in the evening, there's possums up the tree. Uh, that lots of people come out and enjoy because they're a bit more uh, tamer. They, they've been fed too often, which is not a good thing, but brings in uh, the tourists and think they're lovely because they look very cute, but in the wild they'll rip your face off with their claws if you go near them. As I said, it's a vlog new to me. Um, the other thing I should say about this park is that for those who are into running like me and watch a lot of videos out of America, they'll know Flagstaff, Arizona is a very high point that a lot of people uh, run around and it's great for all the, all the pro, a lot of the pros are out there and 
So when they talk about running flag stuff or running around flag stuff, I, I sort of enjoy it because I, I enjoy running around the park. It's meant to be one kilometre uh, circumference, if that's the right word. It's a rectangle. It's actually about 1.2 odd because obviously you're, you're not running the exact corners. Um, or they've misplaced, you know, it's got bigger and bigger. Uh, but yeah, it's fun to, when you hear people talk about running flag stuff. And again, this is the, uh, the real uh, danger of me doing a, a vlog, is that uh, I've been on a haver, that's a Scottish word for talking too much, just going on and on about rubbish. Um, drivel, you know, is what I'm talking. I'm a face-to-face -face communicator with people. It's a bit strange to talk to a, uh, a blank classroom as such, uh, nobody except a, a camera. But, so therefore, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in on the same thing as I've talked face-to-face -to, -face to some students today, but also uh, with friends. I'll let you know what I'm sort of talking to them about. As I said, it's Monday, so, you know, how was your weekend? What did you get up to this weekend? If people haven't seen you, did you have a good weekend? These are all general starter questions. When you meet someone, or catching up with them after the weekend, same as if you're going to work Monday morning, these sort of things you'd say to people, start chatting away. So, I had a great weekend, really. Uh, so, Saturday was massive, or big, Sunday, all the plans went away because I relaxed mostly indoors. It was a pretty hot day, so I, I came again. A walk around, a bit of a relax in the park here. Caught up with some friends, but just shopping really. A bit of cleaning, but not as much as I should have done. But yeah, Saturday was my big day. Uh, usually the morning run, go with friends. I did a bit longer. We did 15 Ks. Actually, I did 15 Ks because I did five to meet them and then 10. Some of them did more, some of them less. Again, it's Saturday morning, Gate D. I'll show you that place. That's the Gate D of the Botanic, Royal Botanic Gardens in Melbourne. Groupers love to run there. We run for about an hour and then have a coffee for a, another hour or so and catch up. And after that, I had two different uh, Christmas parties. So Saturday afternoon was my uh, running club, or the running club I'm a part of, the Crosby Crew. Uh, we had an annual Christmas party. It's... Um, in the park, they put on a lovely spread of lots of different food, brought some drinks, just chat away, catch up with people. Uh, it, it's it's really funny because you know you you know you don't know everybody, but you know, and this is a great thing you get to know some new people. But a lot of ones you do know, you don't actually recognise them or you don't know their personalities outside of being in running gear, running, and obviously the way we dress tells a lot about who we are, a lot of communication there. So you get to see people, get to know them, but talk to them things and, you know, talking about more about, especially people you haven't run long distance with. So when some friends were running, you know, hours together and a week after week, you win marathon training, you, you get to know them well and you talk about all sorts of rubbish. Whereas this, you know, you know, it's proper relaxed talking in the park enjoying so you get to know the people more as people and their lives outside of running um but it was a beautiful day it was the sun was out but it wasn't stinging hot um saying that i'd actually and that was sunday was a bit relaxed because i did get a bit of some on the arms a bit too much i was um i didn't i was smart enough with my face and my neck and ears with the sunscreen but i should have reapplied on my arms or not stayed in the sun as much um, it's all gone now, pretty much. It was just a touch of the sun, as we say. But anyway, again, I'm havering, I'm dribbling, I'm going on, I'm spouting rubbish. I, I believe so. However, uh, the thing is, this is me talking normally uh, if I was talking to nobody. I, I don't know the right word. I, I'm, you know, this is the first one. I'll learn how to do it better, I'm sure. But uh, again, as I said, I'm used to conversations where it's a two-way street. I give, I talk. Um, not saying I can talk by myself for hours if I want, but let's uh, let it wrap this up. Um, let me know uh, 
what's good, what's bad, I, I mean, again, I'm, I'm really open to feedback. Um, I'm really open to what you want me to talk about or, or highlight. As I said, this is a, a challenge, a work in progress um, to do regularly easy topics to start with that are obviously about myself. Uh, and, and I should have should have really taken that self-introduction and pulled it apart and told you all that bits. Would have been a good idea. How many minutes ago? Uh, and again, this is the thing. I have no idea how long I'm talking. Anyway, and I thought I'll, I'll show you Melbourne. It's a wonderful city. It's it's not perfect. No one is. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you've been able to tolerate this for long enough. Uh, let me know. Let me know if I'm talking too quietly, too loudly, too fast, too slow, too boring, whatever, you know. As I said, I, I, I'm open to feedback. I'm open to know I'm not perfect. Have a great day. I'm going to enjoy uh, relaxing here in the park a little longer. Hope you're enjoying wherever you are. Thank you and goodbye.